right, so we are now configuring the Puma ProFlight Trainer. Last step, as you open uh, the configuration setting page, uh, it should come right up once you do that. Uh, you'll see uh, a very good representation of the controls. Uh, we can start from uh, uh, number one, which is the throttle, and you can see that it responds correctly. Now, don't, don't worry that it goes actually down when you increase the throttle, uh, it actually is correct. And the collective, uh, same thing here. Then uh, uh, for the um, pedals, uh, you'll see that uh, you get the same thing, leave them centered. And then for the collective, for the cyclic, the pitch uh, also responds correctly and the roll. Now um, you're going to need to calibrate this. So to calibrate, you just take uh, this part out and you take it, uh, you reverse it, put it uh, with the fork in front, put it back in there. And this would allow the uh, cyclic to b essentially be locked in into one position for for um, calibration. It fits right in. And then once you've done that, uh, and all the other controls are pretty much centered, the total and the collective are down, you click on calibrate. And here you want to kind of move them around one more time so that they are recognized. And also for for the uh, cyclic and and for the pedals. Now they're all recognized, so leave them centered. Click next, next, and you would have the calibration um, going through and finish. So now these are calibrated. Uh, as far as the switches and the buttons, there are several of them. Uh, the, as soon as you touch one, actually the, the screen will change. So what uh, I've done is to uh, basically configure the the, the red switch for a governor and one of the red buttons for engine start. And all you have to do here is to uh, I go to edit and then click on start in this case. Uh, engage starters and apply and then now from now on this button here will be uh, engage starters uh, for the uh, uh, buttons on the uh, main grip um, the hot switch is already configured and then i configured the trigger for um, uh, atc contact atc and this uh, button for uh, pausing the simulation. So again, what you do is to select the function you want and then apply. Um, you can you can configure the other buttons as you like. Uh, those are the only one that I really need at this time. And then once you're done, you just click uh, done and uh, and that's it. If you want to change the sensitivity of the controls, click on control sensitivity. And you would basically have uh, a response and a stability augmentation uh, s sliders. Uh, and this would allow to make the control more or less sensitive. I suggest them to leave, I suggest to leave them as they are for now. Then uh, adjust them if you really uh, do need that. All right, once you're done, you just click done and you're back on your, um, on your panel, if that's what you're flying or whatever helicopter it is, and uh, uh, that concludes this uh, short three-part series on um, assembling and configuring the Puma ProFlight Trainer. Thank you.